Welcome to Marketing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. Join Stacy and learn from her 20 years of experience as she shares top-notch advice on marketing best practices for brands and walks you through how to leverage entertainment content and influencer partnerships to increase your brand's overall consumer engagement and most importantly, your sales. Welcome to another episode of Marketing Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. I'm Stacey Jones, and today I'm going to talk to you about free versus paid media exposure and planning budgets for your medical practice PR program. This is the last in a four-part podcast and provides you with very easy steps for you and your team to incorporate PR into your own medical practice to help drive media awareness and make your appointment books even busier. Last week, I spoke about creating press releases and everything you need to know to include within that document in order to make it stand out. We also spoke about how you can get the press release noticed and distributed through technology and good old-fashioned cold calls and emails. Today, I'm going to talk about the difference between paid media and earned media and discuss why you need to budget for PR just like you do for any type of marketing or advertising. This next part that we're going to talk about is paid versus earned. Paid media means literally what it sounds like. You are paying money in order to secure exposure. Earned media means that there's a perception that you are such an expert, that you have such a wonderful story, that you have earned the opportunity to have this free media. Neither of them are better than the other. A lot of the media that you see out there today is paid, and you have no idea, and the consumer has no idea unless they really, really take notice. And they don't. The benefits of paid media are that you're not going to have to wait for someone to find the right story to slot you in. Pretty much, the station's saying, you have a story, I like your story. What they're really saying is, I like the money that comes with your stories. Let's see when we have some open spots, we're locking you in, and I am going to get a commission sales check. Yes, woohoo! And it can literally be that easy. It's going to appear to consumers as earned media in general, although depending on FTC disclosure laws, there may be messaging that it is sponsored. Those laws are in place to prevent deceptive advertising. And you know what? That is okay. Ultimately, it's going to appear that you were booked based on your expertise level. It's not like a station's going to book a doctor, even if they pay for it, if they're going to sound idiotic. It also has the benefit of maybe potentially leading to earned media opportunities. You're establishing expertise that other journalists are going to recognize and see and think, oh, they were on a show. Someone else interviewed them. They actually looked pretty good. I would like them to be on my show. And you can control the messaging because you're controlling the story and you're not trying to fit it into a story that's already been devised by that new segment. Con, there's always cons to anything that's good, is that it's going to cost you some money. It's going to depend on the market that you're in, but costs are not often that unreasonable. Maybe a couple of thousand dollars and it may be a little more than that, but you can scale and find opportunities that will fit within your budget. And the next steps, if you're going after paid media, is to outline what your budget is going to be. You're going to develop a pitch story, that whole story we've been talking about. You're going to research the opportunities. You can use Scission or something else to find out about these media outlets, and you can call media outlets directly and say, I'm interested in paid advertising opportunities. I would like to book an interview segment. It's about health. And I know that you have these from different shows, such as X, Y, and Z. What type of opportunities exist for me? They will tell you. They will email you. It's amazing how fast that you can get someone to get back to you if you tell them that you have some money. You're also then going to book it. It really is that easy. Okay, so when I say it's really that easy, there's a lot of work to make it sound like it's really that easy. You're going to have to do the work. With earned media exposure, the benefits are that it's free. There's lots of benefits to both of these, but really the difference is it's free. Cons, the timing is going to depend on your outlet. So do they have the time for you? Do they have a segment for you? Your story also just may be a little bit difficult for them to secure in, and it may just mean that you have to wait a little longer. You also may not have established yourself as enough of an expert for them to look at you and think that you're credible. Or they don't want to be the ones that give you your first big break, your big breakthrough moment on TV. They want to make sure that someone else has already gone through and done that risk and that you haven't frozen and make sure that you're actually as media trained and savvy as you will be because you're going to follow the steps that we've talked about. After all of this, you need to set some goals. You need to decide what your plan is. Wanting versus doing, incredibly important. You need to set metrics and you need to create your plan. So when I say setting metrics, don't say, I want PR. Say, I would like two TV segments and three print segments in the next six months. And then start planning against that. Figure out who you're targeting, what their contact information is, what your story is, and iron out all of your details. 
Prove that you're media savvy, and as you do so, as you secure more PR, you're going to be able to broaden your reach, and you'll go outside of your regional area and go more on a national basis. Start locally, grow regionally, expand nationally, and as I just said, assign duties. There's a lot that goes into making sure that you have a strong PR program, marketing program, and advertising program. You might not have a practice manager who has the time to vote to do all of this. So decide, can you do this yourself? Can you use your current staff to do this for you? Or do you need to partner with an outside expert to do this for you? Even partnering with an outside expert, however, you are the one that's going to need to come up with before and afters. You're going to need to come up with a story. You're going to need to come up with the actual treatments. And you're going to need to make sure that you can pull together a lot of different assets. They're not going to magically be able to make something out of nothing happen. And know that you can also get help and you can work with an expert. But make sure whomever you work with has a track record of medical and health placements, that they have extensive media contacts and ongoing relationships, that they have very good reputations with journalists. Journalists once burned will not go back and work with someone again very often. So that relationship issue is incredibly important. Make sure you see some sample press kits that they've done, the other press media kits that they've created before, and make sure that they can actually write. Because a lot of people can't. It's really surprising. It's really important. And make sure that they've demonstrated in the past the results that you want today. So now what? You've done all of this. What do you do now? You're going to keep reaching out once you've established yourself as an expert. You've developed your media plan. You've updated your website. You've made sure that you have social media as a very strong footprint to support your practice. You're going to be reaching out again at two months, six months, one year, every week, every month into perpetuity. You're going to develop new stories. You're going to watch and read the media to see what else other people are doing. You're going to look for new trends. What new technology is out there? What new technology you have in the office? What new technology your clients that you're working with are interested in? And what new results you're seeing in how you're using lasers and light therapy or dental materials and practices and this and that and whatever it is and how you're working with other people in new ways. You're going to form long-term media relationships and you're going to keep on brainstorming story ideas and pitch away. And if you do all that, I promise you, you are going to find PR success. And that success will translate into cold, hard cash dollars for your practice. And with that said, we did it. We got through the four-part series on how to develop a PR program for your medical practice. And you and your team have a lot of work ahead of you. But remember, you can get some outside agency help. You're going to have to do a lot of the work, but for the polishing and pitching and helping you along the way and keeping you motivated, it can be a monumental benefit to have someone on your side coaching you along and making sure you aren't spinning wheels. Stop by hollywoodbranded.com for more tips. You'll also find our library, which has infographics, white papers, ebooks, and video, or our blog, blog blog.hollywoodbranded.com, which has hundreds of helpful hints on how to make brands influencer and entertainment content partnerships a success from the get-go. And visit learn.hollywoodbranded.com, where we've created a how-to learning platform for you to make an impact in your own business based on my over 20 years of expertise. And that includes videos, transcripts, and even quizzes to make sure you truly understand the materials and can take massive action today for your own business. That's it for this episode. I hope it was helpful. And please let me know if you have any feedback. I'll see you next week. And as always, if you need a little or a lot of help, my agency, Hollywood Branded, is here to lend a hand. If you would leave a review or any questions I can address in the future, I'd really appreciate it as your feedback helps me know my advice is valuable and interesting to you. Are you ready to make the magic of product placement, celebrity event activations, or influencer partnerships help your sales? Visit HollywoodBranded.com to gain access to free content to learn which key tactics best fit your brand. You'll find surveys, webinars, daily blogs, ebooks, and guides, all created to make sure you have access to the best possible marketing practices. Let's make that entertainment marketing magic happen for you.